everybody, welcome back to another episode of Grizz. Um, last episode. So fantastic. I'm ready to be a fish again and going down into the deep dark. Uh, I can only imagine what's going to be waiting for. Oh, we're, we're, oh. Shrouded me in the ocean. So, back to the pillar of six. I have two out of six. Yes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I know I said uh, eight last episode, but I definitely glanced at it very quickly. So, please do not hate me for not being able to count, you know, American education and all. Oh! I love the, like, jumpiness of the fish. Okay. This has a save point. Well, for, for what purpose is there a save point? That I don't understand. Doesn't seem like there needs to be a save point there, but maybe there does. Oh goodness, where am I? I can't can't even see my character. So, okay, I can barely see my character. Um, can I do anything? Can I square form in this? That would be so interesting to be like a fish and just like go square form. Oh, I can go through all of those pillars. Mm, not through that one, though. Can you go up? Oh, so cool. I found it. Oh, I can go down. This feels like a secret. It's probably not a secret. It's like probably the way you're supposed to go. I, I just feel like it's a secret. Can I go around through this? I can't go through this. Or I can go up. Was that a block? Oh, okay. So I think that was blocking me from going down. Um, oh, what is that? I found butterflies that are now fish that are following me. So I bet what I'll do is I'll come out. Oh, how cool. Okay, so there's a way to get up there. Again, if that's what I wanted to do. I don't know if that's what I wanted, wanted to do, though. So what I could do... I could hit that save point um, just to see what's up there go down here get my butterfly companions um, okay let's do um, fish travels Gosh, it's so hard to see me against that background. That's one thing. That's probably one of the few detractors I've ever had um, for this game is that I couldn't see my character right there. How cool. Okay, I made it. No! No. No, you gotta be kidding me. I made it this far just just get stuck here? What was I supposed to do? Come up here, run over here, and go up? Man, if that's the process, I don't know. Like, I'm fairly discouraged. Um, I guess I didn't have to use the butterflies right there. I just felt like I needed to. Uh, so let's let's try it one more time, and then I'll be done um, testing out this theory of how to use these things. Hopefully they don't disappear immediately upon entering the surface world. Okay, they do. So you have to use it immediately afterwards if you want full use of them. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to worry about that right now. Okay, what's over here? Okay, that probably requires the use of butterflies. Or I can just swim up this other avenue for it. Oh! I beat it with fucking square form. Amazing. Now I have four. So now I gotta explore over here. 
I'm doing really good. I feel like I'm like, accomplishing these puzzles in a very pragmatic, you know, fashion and time frame. Oh. Nice. Okay, I gotta go up here to the butterflies. Go up. Swim. And yeah, swim across. Nice. I feel like, uh, you really gotta use the momentum of the water to get across this thing. Oh, this is so cool. The water is... is different. It, um... Oh, I see the butterflies over there. What am I doing? I'm like a fish, like, jumping in and out of water. It's, I don't know, it's a very cool experience. I don't know, it's just unreal. Um, you really kind of get the, the feel of being a fish in this environment. And... Alright, I need one more. I'm doing really good, I feel like. These puzzles aren't nearly as hard as the last ones. Where I, I felt like I was just stumped, thoroughly stumped. I don't know if they were meant to be that hard or if I just made them that hard. Oh, so something's down here. Okay, it's something you have to go down here. Okay. Butterflies. What do I do with butterflies in this particular instance? Mm, there's nothing I can really see to utilize these on unless, like, Hmm. There's something that I'm not seeing. There's really something. Oh, yeah, that that would be what I'm not seeing. You can shoot up into the water above to be able to get below, which allows you to then swim up the trunk. Hmm. But, okay, you can go back this way, which trips open the barriers, you get the butterfly fish. Alright, and up, and away! What do I do now? I have to swim back down, don't I? What was that? Why did it, like, light up like that? Is that my imagination? I'm gonna go back up there real fast just to check on it. Just me? Okay. It looked like it lit up for a second. I think the music enhanced it to where it seemed like it was more than it was. Okay. Let's go see what this thing has for me. What is that? The turtle! Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, I didn't even try to swim down. I didn't even think about it. I bet I would have died if I had done it without the turtle. Oh, it's so beautiful. Is that it? Thank you, turtle. Oh. Where am I going now? Oh my god. I'm just following this ride with the goosebumps. It's amazing. I just want to keep going. so magnificent. Oh my god. Like, just blowing me away how beautiful and breathtaking that is. It's weird that I just kind of like... 
touched her butt a little bit there, but you know. Oh my god. <gasps> what am I doing here? that I feel like should have happened that didn't, maybe. Maybe I have to get up to her other hand, maybe? Hmm. accident. I don't know, was that a color I discovered, or was that, okay, yellow? Okay, that's what I discovered, it just says in the bottom right corner, yellow. I didn't, I didn't connect that. Um, oh. Tell me to hold L. No, why is it destroying her? This is all being controlled outside of me. The darkness is back? This isn't me. I'm not controlling this at all. Oh. I think you can give it a spacebar boost every now and then, though. Okay, I can control it a little bit. Maybe? I think I have a little bit of control. Go up and down, but overall I have very little control. Yellow is definitely prominently displayed in the ocean. What happened to those crazy snakes that were after me? I'm actually kind of <laughs> like having a little bit of anxiety around that. How dark it is it is not very um, pleasant as of an experience to be in the dark like this. Beautiful, don't get me wrong, but also kind of scary. Oh 
my god, that scared. <coughs> like, choke. my savior there um that was so intense and the music even just like stopped playing which makes it even more just real what just happened um so i discovered the color yellow i see a save point up there oh how did i do what I it, was I the only one that imagined, like, I had a barrier that, like, fluctuated? I don't know. Anyways, let's just get up there to that save point. I was not expecting to discover the color yellow and then, like, this immediate, you know, chase of, um, this experience. I don't know. It was so intense. Oh, my God. It was so intense. Um... I feel like I'm walking extra slow comparatively to normal. I don't know if that's just my perspective on things. So yellow seems to light up. I guess to give me indicators on how to get up through this maze. How pretty. I love how that yellow doesn't actually like completely consume that cube. Sad to see. Waterfall. Duh. Where am I now? Hmm. Is it gonna light up? Do I have to do anything for it? That was really pretty. I'm swimming. Oh. I'm back to the tree of life. Tree of life, I guess, is probably a better word for it. Oh, there's a waterfall right here. What am I doing? 
Oh, the blocks are made of water. Oh no. It's so cool feeling like a fish jumping between like rivers and ponds like that. And now I'm pretty sure I made it back to the primary, not castle, but the primary structure that I turn all this stuff into. Wait, I just go back and go up this waterfall. What am I doing? And I turned it in. Oh, feels so good. Oh, more goosebumps. The yellow adds such a flair to the game. It's amazing. All right, I'm stopping it there. I'm pretty sure it's saved. I should have stopped after I discovered the color yellow, but y'all saw how that went. That um, eel of death thing was terrifying. And um, so I made it here, and I'm safe for now, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Like you've enjoyed this series with Grizz, because it is fantastic, beautiful, gorgeous game. Um, amazing gameplay. Fantastic, emotional. Um... You feel the passion and you have the emotional connection to the game and it just drives you and you feel like the stressors and anxiety around some of these things and kind of the passion um, put into the game. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, have nothing but good things so far to say about it other than maybe some of the like stuff, you know, um, I feel is a little bit challenging, which I think wouldn't work well with a younger audience. That's about the only thing I could think would be a negative. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, there should be more on the screen for you to pick, choose, or watch. Um, hopefully you'll also like and subscribe this video, and or like and subscribe to our channel if you like this video. Otherwise, hope you have a great day.